Nice to meet you again. Nice to have you again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for another fresh edition of Viewpoint on DBS television. And because uh, development is the main focus of every society, of uh, every nation, in tonight's edition, we are going to be talking about uh, human development, but trying to look at it in another face, whether it is solely what is needed for a country or for a nation or for a society to develop. I think it's last week we had an entrepreneur with us, uh, Ipia Nochavi, and uh, he is uh, back again for us to talk about this uh, major topic. Good evening to you, Ipia, and uh, thank you very much for coming again. Good evening, Vanessa. I think this is the last week of the month of January, am I right? Uh, yes. Yes, January. it's the last week. So, um, you know, it's a month with about 50 days. Thank God it's coming to an end. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pleasure for us to be here again. <laughs> <laughs> a month with our 50 days. Yes, a month with our 50 days. It's coming to an end. <laughs> it's coming to an end and probably a lot of people will be happy back at home that exactly. finally that January has come and gone. Mange Benashio, it's good to be in and welcome. Are you also happy as well? <laughs> oh, of course, Vanessa. <laughs> Every right thinking person will tell you that January is always one of, that, one of those months heavier, you know, heavy to be, you know, to see it go through. The irony in it is at the end of the year, the rate at which... December faces out. It's so fast. And then the contrary is January is as if it drags its legs, as if it is double the days. So there, when you, we are just in October, November, December, it's very fast. That is, you get closer to events that will make you spend. Mm -hmm. Then January, you feel the pinch of that spending. So I think that everybody will be pleading that this month should finish as fast anyway as it's possible. like it's generally always a difficult month for everybody for whether every, you must have spent uh, during uh, the festive period or not for, it for, seems difficult for everybody january is always a month and in some economists they will tell you that they talk of the 13th month because january uh, talk of the 13th month in terms of salary so normally governments should think of reconsidering that 13th month issue <laughs> especially in the private sector money. especially in the private sector uh, for all those what you know at this particular moment i'm thinking of uh, darlene akula in yaoundi i'm thinking of uh, uh, immaculate i'm thinking of a lot of people that is the individuals that do texas appreciating the program in and out of cameroon i'm just thinking about all of you in tonight's edition let us have the first part of the show. In the first question, can human development be a major player in economic growth? Epier, I'll begin with you. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Fenashus, are you of the same opinion? No, Vanessa, not. Not no, and uh, should human development be an investment to bet on? Mangavina shoes, yes, uh, to a certain extent, greater or lesser, uh, lesser, lesser extent. Not so, it means he said no, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, to a greater extent, or yes, completely. Let us have the second part of the show. You are all welcome. Can human development be a major player in economic growth? That is what we are trying to find out in tonight's edition. If you're not, you think that uh, yes, uh, human development should be the major player? Yes, I think human development should be the major player. And for us to understand this completely, we will start by understanding what human development is. Human development, as defined by the United Nations, is a process of simply expanding people's choices, thereby giving them the possibility to have a healthier life, improve their standard of living, having the possibility of uh, uh, being faced with different choices, different options when it comes to their, to their life. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a debate, and Mr. Venasio said that human development cannot be a major player when it comes to economic growth. I want to start advancing some points that I would like him to answer when he starts bringing up his points. The first thing is understand that human development is above economic growth. It means they are not even on the same level. Economic growth is an aspect that shows that human development 
has been worked on. It's just one aspect. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that can be affected because of human development. We said, I gave the definition of what human development is. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility of giving people choices, expanding yeah, their standard of living life, life, which means that what? It simply means teaching people different things, giving people the possibility of knowing different things, thereby having different choices to make, can put their knowledge and attention on different aspects. And if all of these aspects are related to um, the economic scene, economic growth, growth will be affected. Mm -hmm. Economic growth is just an aspect that can be affected by human development. Why human development is an aspect that can affect five other things within a government, within a country, within a race, within a group of people. One of them is human development. Another is health. Another is standard of living. All of these things can be affected. So automatically you start seeing that economic growth is not even something to... To, to question. It's Education. not even something to doubt if human development can impact economic growth. Now I tell you, human development can impact economic growth. It can be a major player. How? What are some of the aspects that affect economic growth, Vanessa? We have revenues. We have productivity from businesses, productivity from companies, taxes, whatsoever that ha happens within the government. The question is, all of these things are being managed by robots or by systems, by individuals. Even the systems that are put in place to manage, control, direct what comes in, direct what money has gone and what money has come in, is being controlled by humans. Before the budget, what determines if the, G, the GDP of a country will increase? Is it money that is being imagined in the air? Or is it actually money that, is it improvement that has resulted, come, come, come from the economic sector of that country? Now, how can the economic sector of a country be improved if individuals have not been trained, have not been educated with regards to how to handle these different activities in different sectors? Let me, let me give you, say, let me say anything. If we have, if we had four hospitals in Cameroon in 2020, and in 2021 we have 20 hospitals, all of them doing good work, all of them producing, drawing international attention, will, will we say Cameroon has become economically advanced in 2021 or it has regressed? Which of them, Vanessa? I'm sure he will say advanced. If we have, if we had four schools in 2020 and we have 20 schools in 2021, within these two periods, which of these periods, in which of these periods will Cameroon be experiencing more of economic stability than the other? I'm sure in the year where they have more schools, which are productive. Who teaches in the schools? Robots? Human beings, how do they start teaching? They get up in their house and they stand. No, they have been trained. It's about education. It's about putting knowledge. This is what human development is. Mm -hmm. It's that aspect of training people, giving people the possibility of knowing so many things so they can make choices. They can improve their standard of living. They can improve their health. They can improve their life. They can have the choices, the possibilities of doing different things. If these possibilities are open, then economic growth will increase. So I think, again, that human development it's a major player when it comes to economic growth. Why? Because human development is just one factor that can be affected, affected. By, by, because economic growth is just one factor that can be affected by human development. There are so many other aspects that can be affected by human development. Just to say that human development is far above economic growth. Far above uh, economic growth, uh, growth or far above uh, being the major player. Uh, from your point of view, I could simply conclude that uh, human development is at the center of economic growth. But man given issues, you rather think that uh, it is not only the major player of economic growth. That is the word, Vanessa, we mm -hmm. you know we're circulating around Circulate. the word <laughs> major. Mm -hmm. When we talk about economic growth, we talk about human development, these are two terms that are interrelated. There can be no economic growth without human, the, the, you know, the human contribution. And the human contribution is what we globally, technically call 
the human resource. There can be no economic growth without a, you know, up to date, up to standard human resource input for it to grow. That is a fact. But if we have to talk about economic growth and considering human development, human uh, resource as the major player, uh, I would want to differ with that issue. That's why I don't think that it is as such uh, a major player. It is a player, but not the major. Because there are other things put together that constitute the, the uh, uh, economic growth. When we talk about economic growth, we are talking about the economy. And with the economy, there are other salient factors that must come in. Remember that it is not necessarily... Uh, if you look at it now, the idea of, I like what Mr. Ipia was saying, is to, is to use the word uh, uh, robots, you would discover that with the advancement in, uh, 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 technology. in technology, with the advancement in te uh, robotic te uh, technology, you will realize that gradually human input, human input is gradually being minimized, is gradually being reduced, gradually reserved to the background. It is enough for me to sit here now and manipulate all these cameras alone. It is, it is becoming possible. It is possible for me to sit here now and communicate with somebody or communicate and effect changes in other systems, even away from the studio. Human resource is being minimized because we, if we have to talk about the development of the economy, there are other factors that you cannot push to the background. And those are the factors, to me, I will consider them as the major players. So what in, are some of those factors? That is where I was going to talk about. One, the economic, uh, the political stability of that environment. I want to say that environment or call it country. No matter how human, uh, how updated, how trained, how, you know, the, the, the various chances that the human being has, to carry out their, 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 their choices, like Mr. Pierre was saying, if the political climate of that environment, of that country, is not stable, nothing can grow. You would not tell me that a country that is hard heat, look, look at what happened in the Northwest and Southwest regions. That is why the government of Cameroon had to come in to tell the world or, or to tell them that uh, economic activities in this country are completely paralyzed. There are human beings. Who, we can go on with the training that we want in the northwest and the southwest region. We can transfer entrepreneurs from Cameroon, uh, from uh, uh, Yaoundé, Douala, other parts of Cameroon to the northwest and southwest region. In as much as the economic climate, uh, the political climate in this region is not stable, nothing can grow. What causes the instability in the political climate? That, that, now that becomes a political problem now because it can be we are talking of socio economic socio political crisis in the northwest and southwest region. the question is the people when they say there is instability it means some people are not doing what they are supposed to do or something is not being done the way it's supposed to be done the question is who causes this who of course, the instability? Of, of course, political players are there. These the political are players are who? Are they humans they're, they're or they are humans. robots? Of course, they are human they're beings. Human they are human beings. Yes. If these human beings have been trained, if they can make the choice of not doing what they are doing, that causes instability. Do you think that there will be more stability in terms of political uh, issues? Correct. If the argument goes this way, then you would likely put, uh, would likely, uh, 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 put it in this way, that it will not only be about economic uh, growth. It will be a growth, in fact, in every sector. That is why I said that human development is Isn't above economic development. That's why I said at the beginning, because economic development is just something small. Mm -hmm. Human development is above because Feynman says a quaff too. Of course. Well, human development in that context, when because we are looking at human development in relation to, to economic, economic growth. growth. Mm -hmm. If we have to look at human development in relation to spiritual growth, it will not be the same thing. If we were to look at human development in relation to so social growth, it will not be the same thing. We are talking human development, in, 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 looking at, because they will tell you that if you have to carry out an, an, an investigation, all other factors would be constant and only one factor would be variable. 
all other factors in this case have been hold have been held constant and the variable factor here is economic growth and if you were to look at human development and economic growth you would discover that the economy cannot grow in an unstable society two the economy cannot grow without the capital you can train the best entrepreneur in the world without the capital he can they cannot grow you can train the best entrepreneur that we have in the world without uh, you know uh, let's look about the exchange rate the economy will not grow the economy grows in relation to another thing and if we're talking about the growth in economy it should be in relation to another economy that is why when we're talking about the economic index of a country it is in relation to something if we are to talk about the economic growth we, then we must talk about exchange rate what is the exchange rate between franc cfa and uh, uh, the, the, the US dollar or the euro. When you put all this, you will discover that if the exchange rate of francs, CFA, and the dollar were to be the same, the economy of France uh, 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 zone or countries, countries. of the uh, France zone, you will see that they would not be the same. You can be as good as what in, 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 in managing the economy, but if your exchange rate is too small, once you put it in relation to Another one that has a higher exchange rate, it drops. It can't grow. So when you put all these things together, you see, if we have to talk about economic growth, economic growth, economy, economic. we are dealing with economic issues. And economic issues, there are certain points that come. A human being is just there to coordinate, like, put According to your point together. of view, certain points outweigh human development. Certain points can, they outweigh because human input that is why I say human input is gradually not being capital as it was. When we talk about industrial revolution, we talk about that was the era in which human, human input labor. was mm -hmm. gradual, human labor mm -hmm. was gradually being replaced by machines. by machines. We are outgrowing the industrial revolution era and we are moving into an era of IT, whereas the robotic era where human input is gradually being overtaken by robots. That is why with the outbreak of coronavirus, we had some countries, I take for example Rwanda in, in Africa, robots were able to move about saving issues. You know, robots were, 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 were able to be used instead of men. Now we're talking about drones. Drones are gradually being used to fly aircraft where human beings are not needed. It is possible now to fly an aircraft without a pilot, and it goes. All right. And in this case, if we can bring them into the economic world, it is possible that we can say that the economy, we can grow the economy, reducing human input and putting... You, of course, you will say it is a human being who is behind the drone, but then instead of two, three pilots to fly this plane, one man sits in a control station and fly the plane out of Cameroon. Now, if that plane crashes, human, uh, human, uh, we we'll talk about the human casualty will be reduced, which means for us to fly that plane, the cost or the human input is reduced as compared to the actual pilots flying it. So the economy can still grow when we reduce. Thank you, the thank human you very input. much, Manke Venashus. Let us take the second question Should human development be an investment to bet on the API? You think that yes, yes, actually. yes, human, uh. What is a human? Should human development be an human investment, development, be an bet investment on. to bet on? Mm -hmm. Yes, because we are living in a world that there is something that we need to 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 start taking into consideration, and we need to take very seriously. We are living in a world where it has become, or it is more important for us to invest in the richness of people's lives rather than invest in the richness of the economy in which we live. That it's very important for us to invest in the richness of human life, get people become more developed, get people know more, get people, like I said in the first part, have the possibility of making choices rather than invest in the possibility of living in an economy that looks rich, but with individuals, sorry, that are mentally or educationally poor. So can you explain further? Now, when we talk about an investment to bet on, there are three variables that we are going to analyze. These three variables, we'll talk about the people, we'll talk about the opportunity, we'll talk about the choices. 
Now, talking about the people, I come back to what I said at the beginning, but now in a different scope, with a different scope. Mm -hmm. I spoke about people have to be given the opportunity to learn different things so that they can make different choices. If people are not given the opportunity to learn different things, we will not be fair. We will live in an unbalanced economy, an unbalanced world, because we will have 200 people in one room and 20 people will know everything while 180 will be ignorant. Is that the way we want to live? If we live that way, then the possibility of diversifying the workload, even in the, in, in, in the society, mm -hmm. in the working environment, will be low. You cannot diversify because people, not everybody is aware, not everybody knows what he needs to do. If today, if we are handling this program, we are three of us, the reason why you can invite another person here tomorrow is because he or she knows what I don't know. If I knew everything, you will not invite another person. Mm -hmm. Or if I knew everything and the other person knew nothing, you will not invite another person. So the reason why you have to invite another person is because this other person knows what I don't, I don't know. The other person knows something that I don't know. I know something he doesn't know. The reason why you need to have so many people. So we need to live in a system where we need to have people of different categories. We need to have that diversity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We need to have people that can do different things. If we have people that can do different things, economic growth will improve. Because the main thing here is about economic growth. At the end of the day, that's the, I think that's the focus of this debate. Mm -hmm. So if we have people that know different things, that can handle different responsibilities, then economic growth will improve again. That is why it's an investment to bet on. Because it will improve the knowledge of people. It will give people the possibility of knowing different things and as such can serve in different areas. We talk about the second aspect, the second variable, opportunities. When people are being trained, when money is being put, education is being, knowledge is being passed on to so many people, different forms of knowledge with regards to different subjects, one thing it does is it creates room for more opportunities. If someone wasn't existing that knew much about the media and another person existing that know, knows much about networking, we wouldn't have a TV channel and a networking company. It's because what the TV guy knows is not what the network guy knows. Or what they provide, they are different. They are two different things. Mm -hmm. So these are two different opportunities. If all he knew was media or all he knew was network, mm -hmm. just network, mm -hmm. the opportunities will be limited. Now imagine we having people knowing so many things. These individuals can create and if they are creating, economic growth will be affected. The, everything will improve because when they create, it, there is more impact on the economy. There's more impact in our world. The third variable, choices. We already spoke about it. When people know so many things, they have the possibility of choosing what they should focus on. Mm -hmm. When we were growing up, it's true we don't encourage we don't. Entrepreneurs of today, most of us don't encourage the educational system in which we live in. But one thing that we can draw from this is you are able to know whether you should do science or arts because from, from one to from three, mm -hmm. you've done the two and you've seen that your head does not <laughs> take in mathematics. <laughs> that is the point. You've done maths, you've done biology, you've done chemistry, you've done physics, you've done geography, you've done history, and you've understood that when it comes to chemistry and physics, your head is empty. It does not sink. Mm -hmm. That is why you go to literature and history. If you did not have the possibility of doing all of this, you will not know what to choose. To choose. Mm -hmm. So you need to have options. And you cannot have options if you've not seen them. And this thing, to be able to see them, you need to be trained. You need to be taught. And this teaching aspect is what we talk about when it comes to human development. So these three variables, opportunities that it will provide, the choices that it will provide for people, mm -hmm. what it will do in the individual lives of the people in terms of their personal knowledge, what they will know. These three aspects, I think, highlights why 
it's an investment that we should bet on because it will also improve economic growth. Thank you very much. Uh, people, opportunity and choices, those are uh, the things that uh, human uh, development could be invested upon. Manga Venashus, you equally think that, yes, human development uh, could be an investment to bet on, but to a lesser extent. I yes, Vanessa, of course, if not, I run the risk of contradicting uh, my stance because I was of the opinion yeah. that uh, it is not a major player in the first question. Mm -hmm. And now, to say that it is not a major player doesn't mean that uh, it is negligible. No. It is good. It is necessary. But not a major player in economic development. In as much as we are talking about uh, the development of whatever economy, nation, whatever it is, human input is necessary. Because at the end, it is by man for man. There's nothing that we do them for for, uh, for for animals we do even if we are doing it for animals the main target is for man mm -hmm. to profit man yes because at the end it is man who will sell the animal or eat the animal or the animal will serve the man so whatever we do they, they, we do, it, it is for man man is at the other end at the, 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 the that's the target but then to say that uh, we should bet on it yes we need to train we need to train because we may have, like I said in the first part, we may have a stable economy, a stable political climate, we may have the capital, we may have a good exchange rate, all this put together. But then we need a human coordinator. We need a human being to bring harmony into all this. We need a human being to direct them toward the necessary, the, the, you know, the goal ex uh, in, intended. Because if we don't do that, we may discover that we are like operating in in an you know in an unprofessional no that we are operating in a kind of disordered manner no we need man to arrange them into various uh, uh, streams that we need them mm -hmm. that is why we need this formation we need this training mm -hmm. mr pierre said somebody needs this and another somebody knows this and another person knows this if i can quote from the scripture the scripture says human beings are endowed with different gifts different gifts for the same purpose, service. So I know this, I know what Mr. IPA does not know. And that is why I must be trained to know what to do in this country. And then, like Plato says, human beings, you know, once a child is born, that child needs to be inculcated with knowledge, knowledge so that such. this knowledge will be put at the service of mankind. That is human formation. So I think that when we have to talk about human development, it is necessary that we need to invest in if we have to upgrade our standards of life, Vanessa. Thank you very much, uh, Mange Venashus, uh, for your contributions. Notch, APA Aviso, what should be the take-home message as far as economic growth in relation to human development is uh, a concern? The, the, the take-home message is, is very simple. People should invest. When we talk about people need to to, to be trained, people need to know a lot. Nobody is going to, to come and pick you from your house or from your home and say, uh, come and lend this. You and I will agree that if we come into a company and then let's say we come to a TV station like this and then I can produce, I can report, I can write, I can be behind the camera, I'll have more opportunities than you. Of course. Of course. I'll be able to, I'll be open to, they'll, they'll easily use me than you and I can easily grow in my service than you. So everybody should take it upon himself as that this is something you need to invest on. Don't be limited. Don't be limited. Train Expand. yourself. Mm -hmm. Learn a lot. Keep learning. Don't say you already know this. This is my field. But keep learning. If you have an opportunity to learn, learn. Don't feel that the other person who knows that other thing, you cannot know it. I always say that nobody is a custodian of all knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have the possibility of knowing what we want to know. So. Let's invest in this. If we invest in our abilities to know different things, we'll be giving ourselves more opportunities. We'll be giving ourselves more choices. And as such, we can make the right choice. We can get into the right opportunities. We could expand economically, personally. We will grow financially. We will grow. And as such, the entire economy will grow. This is what we want. And this, this is, is why we're what here. we want. Thank you very much, APN Notch V, for coming. And thank you very much thank also very much. for that. Uh, just expand because, in every aspect, it is uh, the humans or the human beings that do benefit from it. So, 
do not be limited grow expand and enjoy all the opportunities that uh, you could while still working that's it thank you very much for watching uh, thank you wonderful for tomorrow if you will be there we will be there god